Hi, this is the new breath ketone meter being sold by Valumed. We think it's going to revolutionise how ketone tests are done for people on ketone diets. I don't think these units are going to replace uh, blood ketone meters or where you're really needing accurate levels of uh, blood ketones at any given time and certainly they're not going to replace the diabetic ketone market. But where these really have a great possibility is where people are doing uh, ketone based dieting where they're wanting to see if they're fat burning and where they're restricting their carbohydrates and need uh, an hour by hour or minute by minute indication of whether they're fat burning or not. These are great little units. We've been playing with this one now for the last 48 hours while we've been doing dieting and we found it to be incredibly accurate and a really good indicator of what's happening when you are eating carbs or when you're restricting carbs. Counts down nicely, tells you when to blow. I'm not going to trigger this unit now, but you've got to, to get the best out of this unit, you need to clean the sensor before it's used by just cycling it in the manner that I've just done there three or four times. And I would recommend that you do that if you're passing it between different people because there is a tendency for these units, what we found is for them to um, concentrate the exhaust gases, if you like, in the, the sensor passage and they effectively need clearing out. So if you're passing it from person to person, uh, you may find that the readings you get for the first test or the second test are more indicative of what that other person's ketone levels are than, than yours. Ideally, this should just be used by a single person, and if you're doing that, then you're not really going to run into those problems. But we would still recommend that you vent the unit and clean the sensor on a regular basis just by cycling it, switching it on, letting it count down, warms the sensor up, cleanses it, and that gives you a best chance of getting an accurate indicator in real time. The other thing we found is that you really need to be testing these breath samples for a full, deep, long 10 second sample. Now that's a long blow and they don't want you to take a deep inhalation, a quick inhalation, which basically just means you're sucking air straight into your lungs and blowing it straight into the unit. You really need to be, if anything, taking a normal breath, holding it for a couple of seconds and then when it gives you an indication to blow, giving a long, steady, slow, but not too hard blow out because 10 seconds is a long time. Now I'm just going to trigger this one for you and just demonstrate that. We'll just switch this on, let it power up. This is its third cycle. It should have cleansed itself nicely. And then I'll give you an indication of the, the blow. Now you won't see me do this, but you might, may hear if I hold it close to the microphone uh, while I blow through this unit. So I'm not going to take a deep inhalation, just a normal breath. until you get that double beep and there you go my ketone levels currently being measured on that test is 0 0.20 millimoles per litre. It is critical to get that right. If you're slow starting or you uh, end blowing and take another quick breath in and blow out you're going to get uh, unreliable readings. It has to be a strong but steady slow breath sample and it's going to sample over the full 5 to 10 seconds that you're blowing through it and by doing so that will really increase the accuracy. The other thing that we found with these units is don't test within half an hour to 45 minutes of having a meal. These units don't directly measure beta ketones. These are measuring acetone bodies. Now acetone bodies are produced by a variety of foods you're also going to find that if you have alcohol and start testing with this unit, you're going to get very high levels. So if you're wanting to measure your proper ketone and measure the acetone as an indication of the ketone, then there's no point testing when you've just had a, a spicy meal or a meal cooked with alcohol or any other thing that's going to basically evaporate ketones in and around your oral cavity or mouth. So the advice is half an hour, 45 minutes after eating, will give you a baseline indication of what your ketones coming out of your blood, through your lungs, out of your breath are. Uh, also, first thing in the morning, we find uh, 
Um, before you've had a drink and you've got um, a dry mouth, you tend to get quite high readings for the first hour or so, showing that your, your ketone, if you've been fasting overnight, are quite high. My readings this morning uh, coming after um, probably 12 hours fasting were 1.2 and gradually throughout the morning, uh, I only had black coffee this morning, I didn't actually have breakfast, but even the coffee and burning my glycogen reserves meant that my ketone levels actually reduced during the course of the morning to about 0.8, then 0.6, and now I'm running between 0.2 and 0.4. So that's something to bear in mind that do these regularly throughout the day, get a feel for what your normal pattern is. The other fascinating thing to do with this that you can actually see happen is if you have been fasting and you're getting 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, if you then have a simple carbohydrate, sugar drink, anything with sugar in it, or even a complex carb like white bread, you will see that how quickly you switch from burning fats to running on those uh, carbohydrates and your, your ketone levels just drop off over the course of 45 minutes to an hour and take quite a while to come back up. So you, you start with these devices to appreciate the calorific value and the hidden sugars and uh, the difference between simple carbs and complex carbs and how that affects your levels of ketone very, very easily. Okay, so those are our top tips for getting the best results out of these things. If you're comparing these with blood ketones, that's just something else to cover really. Um, these aren't going to be a one-to-one -one correlation with a blood ketone level at any one time. You've always got that physiological variation between what's in the blood and what comes out of the blood through the lungs and is blown out and the dilution effects on that. So these aren't a specific, accurate, direct measurement of your blood ketone levels. It's an indicator and the interpretation of the results and the guidance has to be taken as an indicator, not an absolute level. Okay, so if you're thinking these are a direct alternative to doing your blood ketones, you're going to be disappointed. If you're wanting for something that indicates what's happening real time without all those finger pricks or running to the toilet for a urine sample, then these are absolutely brilliant. Okay, so there you go ketone breath meters, they're available now on the Value Med websites. We've tried to reduce the price on these to uh, make them affordable for everyone. When you start adding up the cost of your, your ketone test strips and, and look what you get value-wise for these, I think you'd agree that they do offer uh, an incredible step forward for people not wanting to do all that fast. Okay?